not alive or trying to find your way if you need a little paradise or just a break away if you need a little something else something daylight brings to reunite you with your better self waiting in the wings well summer is coming Not a day too soon Winter is passing Long overdue Friendships may wander Others may bloom Summer is coming Long, long overdue The business that I'm involved in with building surfboards is, is called Surfline Surfboards. Uh, it's a very small operation. It's uh, very focused on building custom boards for people and very focused on um, a high quality handcrafted uh, attention to detail. I like to keep some of the old uh, craftsmanship areas of, of surfboard building alive. I like to play around with um, um, using different types of woods. I like to play around with all the elements of surfboard design as much as I can. And I like to just explore what can be done with, you know, hand making one off surfboards. It's like each one can go anywhere that you, that you desire, basically. So if you can dream it up, you can go there with it. And that to me is extremely exciting in this day and age of, of sort of global mass production. This trip's away has been based a lot on uh, playing around with flex and um, I've sort of come up with a, a couple of boards that I've brought along which have flex tails but they're actually detachable flex tails and my my thinking behind that was um, I was a, a little bit at a loss as to how much flex was going to be right so I thought well if I make the tail detachable I can then make several different tails with different flex patterns and even different shape tails. I can have one surfboard that I can have six or seven different tails for and just ride that board and get to get a feel for what uh, the different elements of flex do. So what I'm sort of finding is um, if the waves are smaller, uh, softer, um, a more flexible tail feels better. And um, as the waves increase in um, power and speed, I tend to use a, um, a stiffer flex pattern in the, in the tails. I don't differentiate between the two. There's too much to gain by riding different designs. There's just too much fulfillment, you know. Um, and it's very simple. 
I mean, waves are beautiful. Waves have their own beautiful characteristics. They have their own energy. And to be in the, in the ocean and to actually be able to experience and interact with the waves, that's really what it's all about. And, and the feeling that you get from doing that. And if you can get some of those feelings riding um, boards outside of the mainstream, then do it, you know? And longboards are a um, classic example, really. It's, it, I'll always keep coming back to, to, to the longboard because it has so much to offer, so many different people. And it doesn't have to be a serious thing, you know? Just go out and experience. Take off on a wave, stand there, feel the glide and the trim that you've never felt before if you haven't ridden a longboard. It's what surfing is all about. It's the starting point for everything that is surfing. It's the very basic fundamentals of what it feels like to be on a ro to be riding a wave. It's the glide that you get on a longboard. And I, I encourage people to ride different designs, to be open-minded, and just to enjoy the whole thing that surfing has to offer. Uh...